Hi there, it's Jen and it is Friday, March the 3rd. I can't believe it's March already. Um, if you are there with me, please let me know. And if you're catching the replay, let me know. So I've got a fun little project I'm going to do with you today. Um, but first I want to uh, show you the card I made last week. This was using that cute Celebration Owls. And what I want to do is do a draw for it. So I do this every week. Uh, after I've made the card, then the following week I will do a draw for it. Um, and so I'm going to do a draw and all you have to do is like, comment, um, or share this post and then you'll be in the draw for the card that I'm going to make today. Hello Nicole and hello Vicky, thank you for joining me. Okay, so I'm going to pop over to the other screen. It's going to look funny for just a second. And let's see here, we want to do this and this and this okay here we go so i'm going to so everyone who's commented liked or shared last week's post is in the draw for this card and here we go and as long as you're canadian and not a demonstrator you can win so there we go nancy nancy i'm not sure if you're a demonstrator or not but i will check it out and if we have to we'll draw again so that's one so let me just um I'm going to make sure here that everything is looking okay. I actually think I didn't share the screen properly. Hold on. Ah, I didn't share. Can you guys hear me now? Can you hear me now? Let me know if you can hear me now. Normally the way I had it set up works. So I don't know if something has changed. Can you hear me? Yes, you can hear me. Okay, good. Well, this is a funny setup because this is not how I normally set it up. So I don't know what's going on, um, but I did have trouble getting in. So maybe there was something that happened. Okay. So what I, just to recap quickly, what I did was I did a, I'm not going to split the screen again until I'm ready to go craft is I did a draw for this card, which I made last week. And anyone who, um, 
commented, shared, liked, um, got in on the draw. So that's how you get in the draw for next week is to comment, like, or share this video. So that winner was Nancy McCallum. And so Nancy, as long as you're a demonstrator and you're not, not a demonstrator and you are Canadian, then you'll get that. And then I did a draw for uh, this stamp set, which was a celebration host set. So you couldn't just buy it. It's very pretty. And um, anyone who had placed an order in January was in that draw automatically. And if you placed more than one order, you were in there more than once. So um, now Rita's saying we can have, we have no audio. <laughs> oh dear. I'm hoping that you guys can actually hear me now. Um, and like I was saying, when you couldn't hear me is what's funny about this is that I actually can't really hear myself. I had a shower earlier today and I've got a blocked ear and I cannot hear anything. Um, okay. So it sounds like Rita, maybe it's just you. I'm not hundred percent sure though. Let me know guys. Okay. Because that's, that's really concerning. Um, and normally, okay. Lisa says she has sound. Okay. Fantastic. Good. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa, uh, yeah, maybe just go out and back in again or catch the replay, Rita. I'm not sure what's going on. Anyways, let's jump over to the craft table. And um, I am really hoping that you guys can still hear me. <laughs> maybe just let me know if you can. Um, and I'm hoping that this works because it's a complete reverse of how I normally do the sound mix. Um, I have sounds, Robin says. Okay, good. <laughs> um, because it's completely opposite to what I normally do with the sound. So I don't know what's going on there. Yep, in fact, Vicky says, okay, thank you. You know, technology is great. Well, it works, right? <laughs> okay, so um, I had a request actually to do a reflection card. And I was going to do that today. But then I thought it's not that far off from Easter. So I think we should do an Easter card today. Thank you, Grace and, and Ruth for letting me know about the sound too. Appreciate that. So, um, so I made one and it's a little bit fussy, but I figured because last week we did such a nice simple card, it was okay to go fussy this time. So let me show you what I've used first and then we're gonna get going, okay? So I used um, a variety of dies for this in order to make it work. So the first one is this um, tag shape here and that is from this one. Taylor made tags in the main catalog. Then I have a circle, which is from this set. These are the beautiful shapes dies. And my plan is to put this on my blog and I'll have all the um, products linked so you know. And then I had this piece of grass is from the Paradise Palms. And then I have Celebrating You for the Happy Easter, which we need. Um, what else am I missing here? Oh, like this here. Um, these are brand new. These are, they're called Basics 3D Embossing Folders. They're awesome. I just got my order this morning, so that was really good timing. So I was, I was gonna use a different folder, but now that I got them. So these are part of the online exclusives. And I'm gonna hold this up tight to the camera so you can say, Grace is saying she can still hear me. Perfect, thank you, Grace. And uh, so what the online exclusives are, are, are items that are only available online and not available in any catalogs. So these are um, new and this, there's a few products on there. So you'll be seeing me playing with one of those. One of them I'm gonna use for the reflection technique that Robin had requested. So I'll do that. I'm gonna try and do that hopefully next week. Um, so this is just a beautiful, I don't know what it is, maybe pot plant leaves, I don't know, <laughs> but it looks really cool. Um, then some great polka dots. And like, I just got this, so I haven't even played with it other than this one. And I thought this one was kind of fun, maybe like a bit of a basket weave or something. So that is, they're online only and they're called Basics 3D Embossing Folders. I'll put a link in here too for this, okay? So that is the other thing. Let me just move all this aside. Shared, Robin says, thanks so much. And I've pre-cut all these things just to make the card go faster. Sometimes I cut stuff out when I'm doing a card so you can see that live but because there was four different things I just decided to cut it ahead of time um, so here's what that folder looks like embossed I'm hoping you can see that I'll hold it up there for a second it's so pretty and just great for backgrounds right okay the other thing I'm going to use is imagine for um, Easter is a uh, cherry uh, punch which is also in the annual catalog so I'm going to start by just punching that Okay, oops, I just lost one of them on the floor. So I'm just gonna punch again. And there we go, I got two. <laughs> and I don't need the stem, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, so I am going to take my paper snip scissors. What I'm doing here is I'm gonna build a little Easter bunny. Now you're not gonna be able to see that too well. So let me put it right on here, okay? So you can see it. And um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is with these ears, 
which is what they're going to be, I thought, like, I looked around at all the dyes and everything, and I thought that probably most looked like an Easter bunny, but it was a little pointy. So I decided to just trim off the top point on here to make a little Easter bunny ears. And then it was, because I didn't do a great job trimming, I decided to take my nail file. So this is just a emery board, a really fine nail file that you can get um, in any nail salon type place. I use it for just um, any rough edges on my cardstock to just file it. Um, so I love having this as a little tool in my craft room. Okay, so I got those pieces, those pieces, and then I've got the white circle. Oh, I don't think I should do the other. Oh yeah, the white circle and the flower. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my Smoky Slate ink and I'm going to just take it here and take a little bit off, okay? Because I don't want this to be too dark. And then I'm going to just brush around here because I want to give this piece a little bit of definition like this. And it's very, very subtle. In fact, the camera may not pick it up. So hopefully when I take a picture, you can see it a bit better. Um, but you really need a little bit of definition here to give the image some depth. So I'm just rubbing it around here like this. I could go like this on the paper. I'm just afraid of getting too much on there. Okay, and then the ears to the right side. Um, I, I still feel like I like it holding it better in my hand to get this. You hear me brushing it. And then this little piece here. I have hardly anything on there. Okay, so this is how I built it. Um, and uh, I need some tape, which I thought I just had. It's on my craft desk. My other craft desk. Oh, here it is. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is put the ears on. So I'm gonna put some tape on here. And now you may find, so there's the first ear, you might find in your craft stash that you have things that'll work for this. So I'll give you kind of my design and then you can see, look how cute that is. You can kind of see how and what you have. I'm gonna close this ink up so I don't drag anything through it here. Now this is gonna be a bunny who's looking away. So he's looking, oh, he or she is looking away. Can you see that? How cute is that? Okay, and then the little tail, and I've got my scissors right here, so I'm just gonna use that to grab a glue dot. And stick it there. And then we're gonna take that little flower and stick it right on there, like the little cotton tail. How adorable. Hold on, let me just get it up there. How cute is that? <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna add one more thing to that little tail. And that is this. These are, I used these last week too, I think, enamel dot essentials. And they come with this white, crumb cake and navy. So I'm just gonna take a little medium dot here. I need my take a pick tool. And Robin says, oh, cute bunny. Oh yes, Robin loves bunnies. Robin has bunnies. And I'm gonna add a little dot there just to define the tail a little bit more. How cute is that? Wait till you see it on the card. And then you will see it all together. Okay, so let me show you what I'm gonna do here. Um, we're going to put this here. This is gonna be here. So what I like to do is I like to what, do what I call dry fitting before I actually attach anything. And that is I'm gonna stamp this before I've attached it down. Um, because if I make a mistake, of course, I can turn this over. So I want this to go quite low. So I'm gonna just make sure it's straight. And this is Rich Razzleberry and Fresh Freesia Crumb Cake. Um, now you can see that I've cut this too big and here's why, this is a tip. When you're doing um, embossing, dry embossing, the often the um, paper kind of sh almost shrinks a little bit when you emboss it. So I often cut it a little bit bigger and then cut it down after. So I cut this side either, it must have been four and a quarter. So there's just a little tiny bit that's gonna come off that to make it fit. So that's a tip for you. Okay, so I'm gonna attach this. It looks good on both sides, this, this paper here. It's very cool. Okay, and it's gonna go on here like this. I'm just eyeballing, but if you wanted to, you could lay it here on the grid paper and line up with that side and line up with that side to make sure it is all straight. 
There might even be a, still a little bit that's overlapping, so I'm just going to take my scissors and just give this a trim. Okay, and I'll check your comments there in a second. Then this is going to go on the front of the card. This is just a um, half of a eight and a half by eleven sheet that I folded in half already. Like I said I tried to preview some of the stuff just to make this go a little bit faster. Whoops. This tape is so strong. If you go really fast, like I just did, sometimes you rip the paper. So don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so there's our base. I love Fresh Freesia. And let me do a little public service announcement here. Um, these are the in colors from 2021 to 2023. And uh, so we got Fresh Freesia, Polish Pink, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, and Pale Papaya. And um, they've been around for two years now. So in April, they'll retire. So what happens is when the retiring list comes out, these things sell out right away. So if these are colors that you've loved as well, make sure you stock up on refills now before they are gone, okay? Because once they sell out, they don't get more. Okay, so I showed you the tag that I did. So I cut that and I'm going to one rich raspberry and one old olive. I'm just gonna cut that off and I'm gonna add this to the bottom. I quite like rich raspberry with fresh freezer, fresh freezer. It's pretty with um, the soft succulent too, but I wanted something just a little bit brighter for this card, okay? All right, so I have a piece of that grass. It's got little holes in there that didn't come through, so I'll just poke those out. There we go. Hold on, I'm gonna take a sip of water. Ruth says cute. Robin says she loves the deep purple. It's so nice, the two purples together, isn't it? Okay, so that's which raspberry. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut it in half. And then I'm going to cut one of these in half again. And oops, I meant to put that on before there. Oh, well, we'll, fi we'll figure it out. A little bit of tape on the back here. Normally I put my little craft mat down here so I don't get this thing all covered in blue, but I'm rushing. Okay, because I know you got, I know you got things to do on a Friday. I appreciate you being here with me. So I'm just lifted that up a little bit and tucked it in and the bunny will cover up the rest. And I'm just being lazy here and not cutting a second piece of grass because I totally could have done that and then I wouldn't have had to cut this in half. But, you know, it's also good to show how you can use up all your scraps. Okay, so there we've got some, some grass for the bunny to sit on. This one needs to go in further. There we go. Give that a good seal. So we're gonna put the bunny down. You can't, you can't even see the grass I just did. We need dimensionals on this bunny. Let's see if the big one will fit. I like the little bum, the little curved bum. That's the cherry blossom punch. Isn't that awesome? And then just a circle and then two sort of ear pieces. And I did, I looked at all my, my dyes and everything. And I thought, you know what? Those stem, those leaves on the cherry blossom are perfect. Cherry punch, I mean. Okay, so this is gonna, I'm gonna go like this. Oh, so cute. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a little bit more grass here just like this. And we're going to use, I think I'll use the small dimensionals for this one. You know, it's all about the right size. Eh? And then I feel like I'm going to need just a tiny sliver. So I'm just going to cut a little bit from here and put it on here. Have I told you guys that this is my favorite time of the week when I get to sit and stamp with you guys? I love it. Okay, so Putting this one down here. And I have an alternate version of this card that I'm going to show you after too. Okay, so how adorable is that little bunny in the grass? So cute. And you know what? We're going to do one more thing to the bunny. I'm going to take his little ears and we're just going to bend them up a little bit and curve them. Just with our fingers. How cute is that? So cute. Okay, I think I'm going to pop this on dimensionals too. Oh, you know what? Let's do the thread first. Easier to do this when it's like this. So of course, I'm going to need matching ribbon to tie through the fresh freesia. So I'm going to just like this. And I'm going to get my ribbon scissors. And he may be saying, well, how are those different than these scissors? They're not. They're exactly the same. But I have one pair for um, ribbon, so I have a tag on it, and one pair for cutting. And that way they stay really sharp for paper and for cutting. And I hope I'm not talking too loud or too soft, but like I said, I got a plug here and I, I can't hear. <laughs> I can't hear myself. So it was kind of funny that the, um, the sound wasn't, well, not really funny. <laughs> it was ironic that the sound wasn't working too. So I'm just, I'm taking this piece here. This is Baker's Fine Essentials. Love these. 
um, little packs and I'm going to just tie a little bit of this and this is just to bring the crumb, crumb cake through because of course to me it's all got to be matchy matchy got to have one uh, this is something I teach my demonstrators you need to have um, if you have one color you need to have it represented elsewhere too to make it all just tie together now that being said I know you can't see what I'm doing but hold on a second I'm just tying a bow um, with little itty bitty strings here so I just tie a loose ugly boy to, bow to start and then I pull this and make it look pretty. You just keep pulling on the ends until it looks pretty. Um, okay, so what I was saying, that being said about matching matchy, um, I haven't really matched the grass, but that's okay. I did in my other card, but I decided, well, I'll show you and then you'll see, then you'll see what I decided. Okay, so that's cute. Um, I'm gonna just trim that. Actually, I think I'll put it on first and then trim it so we can get the full effect. Um, I hope I win this card, Robin says. Well, that would be just perfect, wouldn't it? Um, like I said, Robin, I know Robin loves bunnies. Um, okay, so there we go. I bet you, Robin, you have stuff that you could use to make this card. Okay, so here we go. Or a card similar. So this is going to go on here like this. Adorable. Okay, and we're going to add something more to it. And I need to add a little bit of bling, even though we got a little bit of bling on the tail. I'm going to just trim all this here down a little bit. It'll still fit in the envelope, but even with that ribbon, you can just tuck the ribbon down in there. It's so cute so far, isn't it? Just adorable. I love the little tail. Hope you can see the little tail. So cute. Okay, so let's add... Uh, where are they? Okay, here. So also when you're looking at ink colors and what's retiring, make sure you look at the embellishments. Those often go first. So these are fun. They're um, called loose flower. Now I'm thinking loose flower embellishments and they come with, they're the three, three of the in colors. They're the uh, polished pink, the pale papaya and the fresh freesia. So of course we've got fresh freesia on here. So let's take some fresh freesia and look how cute these little tiny ones are. So adorable. Of course I can't pick them up. I need my take a pick tool. Let's see here. Let me grab it. One and two. Okay, so let's put those on. I'm just trying to figure out where I want them first. Okay, and now I'm going to use um, this stuff. Um, liquid glue. It's good for embellishments. Glue dots would work too. Uh, but this is right here. One and two. Um, I try not to use this too often because I always make a mess. I know some of you are better at this than me. I'm gonna put that there and just hold it for a second. And I'm gonna get another one. I'll hold this up and so you see, I just made a mess on that one. I just pressed, I have too much glue is the problem for that little tiny embellishment. But it dries clear, so it's not too big. And it's not too horrible. Um, okay, so that one, I wanna add something to it. I got all the jewels out here today. Like I said, this is a more complicated card today. Last week was a simpler one. Iridescent pearls, basic jewels. They're very shiny. And I'm going to add that little teeny tiny one in the center. Where'd it go? I guess I didn't pick up into the center. These have got glue on them. If I feel like it's not going to stick, I could add more glue. I'm going to pull it down. And then I'm going to check your comments there in a second. Oh, it's not sticking. Okay, so I am going to grab the glue dots, which are still right here. Now they're all over my table. And I'm going to stuff the glue dot in there. So I stuffed it right in the little hole. And now I'm going to put that back in there. Perfect. That works. Okay, so let me show you the card. I just get all this stuff out of the way. How, so the glue is wet still. So you see a little bit of wet there. And then the cute little curled ears. So cute. I could have maybe put it a saying up here too. You could put mom or whatever, you know, up there, or I could have moved everything up a little bit. That would have been an option too. Okay, so let me show you the alternate. Um, June says she loves the colors. Vesna says great card to do with the grandkids. Um, Robin says such a cute card. Love it. Thank you, Robin. Um, and another Robin says love your nails. Thanks so much. Uh, Rita says she has sound now. Fantastic. Good. So here is the other one. And um, you can tell me which one you prefer. Uh, and see, so I originally did it with a little brown bunny. 
So it's a little brown bunny. So I sponged crumb cake around and I used um, those same dots that have crumb cake in them. Um, and I used, I did put olive here as opposed to the crumb cake because I had crumb cake here. So um, I ended up going with this one because I thought it looked more like an Easter bunny than this brown one here. But tell me which one you like, which one you think. And um, let me just pop back over here. I'll put both screens up. There we go. Oh, that's too close. <laughs> um, okay, so like I said, just comment, like, share to get in on the draw for that card. Um, I'll put, what are the things I told you I'd put? About a link to the online essentials, a link to these awesome new embossing folders. Um, I'm sure there's other stuff that you probably want to see. If there is, just let me know. And um, I look forward to, you know what, do you want to see some of the um, new stuff? Here, hold on a second. Hold on. Let me just put it on this screen for a second. Um, and pull this out here. The um, love the brown one business says the brown one. Interesting. Lisa's saying the white one. Cute card says Kathy. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to put these aside for a second. Like I said, I just got this box. First of all, look how cute the little box is. It's got its... Um, stamping up stuff on it so here I just scared my cat which by the way I will show you there's my order form um, I will show you where the cat is now sleeping after so uh, here's some stuff rhino ready dies which cut out this super cute stamp set rhino ready I think it's adorable very cute it's got like little um, birthday things and stuff so those cut those out I thought this one was very cute too growth takes time um, it's got, you can go small, big, little, um, be gentle with yourself. I thought that was a nice one. Um, dyes, radiating stitches dyes. Let me show you these really quick. This is like a bonus. Um, Robin, the other Robin says, love them both, both bunnies. So I didn't plan on doing this. Otherwise I would have taken the packaging out of here. Okay. So I'm excited. I'm excited when I get a delivery too, you know? Um, okay, so there we go. These dies, turn them around. They're like stitched, but stitched in a different way. So they're kind of cool frames. Oh, can't wait to put those. Okay, then we've got some ribbon. These are gold and silver. These are all on the website right now. And it's the only place they are. They're very sparkly ribbons. Um, they're sort of gold on the edges and silver. Um, it's very pretty. Okay, so then these, which are already um, out of stock, but they're coming back in stock. These are called Loose Frosted Dots. See, demonstrators get a chance to order everything um, early. And um, so demonstrators obviously ordered all the stock. <laughs> and so now they have to come back, but they're very pretty. They don't have um, adhesive on the back, so you could use them for shakers or whatever you want. But gorgeous. Look at that, that blue green. That's very pretty. Okay, and actually there's a little secret about those which I'll tell you later. Um, Hello Irresistible Designer Series paper and this other paper, which I don't think I'm going to unpackage that just yet. I can unpackage this one just because it'll be easier to show. Let me get this box out of the way. It is called Naturally Gilded Specialty Designer Series paper. So there's some special stuff about this. And you can see it right off the top is look at that shine. Oh my goodness, so pretty. So that's kind of a gold color and then kind of a silvery one. Oof, that'd be nice for Christmas or weddings. Oh, and then there's like a coppery one. Oh my gosh, this paper is gorgeous, you guys. Just gorgeous. So pretty. Okay, so that's it for my sneak peek and my bunny cards and all the stuff. <laughs> um, so I am going to just say goodbye and have a great weekend, everybody. And uh, June says, love seeing new stuff. I know it's fun, isn't it? Um, so it's all, uh, again, I'll put a link to all that stuff um, in there. So have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me or catching the replay. Take care. Bye-bye now.